Hi folks, this is Shafik. Today we are going to perform Vector Simulator Serve with Redis k value Store. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. We are going to use deep face package for Python to represent facial images as vector embeddings and as a data set I'm going to use at unit test items you can access at unit test items in this URL finally we are going to store those vector embeddings in our redis k value store and we are going to search a sample vector embedding among those vectors and in that way we are going to find the identity of a facial image firstly i'm going to import the operating system module of python thereafter call at walk function and pass the unit test items path which is the face tests and data set and as you can see this walk function is going to return directory path directory names and file names thereafter file names is the python list that's why i'm going to build another for loop for file name in file names and image path is going to be director path plus file name let's print this first secondly i'm going to discard non-image files that's why here i'm going to check if the image path contains .jpg now i'm going to import the deep face package from face import deep face and here i'm going to call deep face dot represent function and as input arguments image path is going to be image path thereafter model name is going to be facenet and finally detector backend is going to be empty cna this represent function returns a python list and i'm going to set this to embedding objects and let's access at zero index value and get at embedding k this is going to be the vector embedding of the current image thereafter before the for loop i'm going to initialize a representations list and its initial value is going to be empty list and here i'm going to append image path and embedding as tuple now we can store those embeddings into our redis k value store that's why i'm going to import redis client if you haven't installed this package yet you may run pip install redis command and i'm going to initialize my redis client that's going to be redis dot strict redis and send arguments host it's going to be localhost port is going to be at default port 6379 and database is going to be zero in each iteration i'm going to run redis client dot r push and k is going to be embedding and image path and value is going to be embedding we start our vector embeddings into our redis k value store we can confirm it as redis client dot case command it's going to show the stored case also we are able to see some values of case i'm going to run redis client dot let range and pass a k value thereafter zero and minus one this is going to return the vector embeddings now i'm going to represent another image not available in my facial database target image path is going to be target.jpg and i'm going to run deepface.represent function again and here image path is going to be target image path thereafter i'm going to use same configuration for model name and detector backend this is going to return a list that's why i'm going to access at zero index k thereafter get at embedding k and this is going to be my target embedding basically i'm going to search the identity of the target image in my facial database please notice that target image content is not available in my facial database so we expect that redis is going to return the identities of angina julie from this vector similar to search to perform vector similar to search on the redis site we need to write a lua script here we are going to call redis client dot register script and pass script as input and this is going to be my command thereafter i'm going to perform this command and pass my case as input here i'm going to pass the target embedding as input and this is going to be the 
results. Finally, I'm going to return the results. We are going to retrieve our all vector embeddings first. Local database is going to be redis.call and we are going to get case what embedding prefix dot dot and I want to return them all. And let's return database at this point. This is going to return all k values starting with embedding prefix. Thereafter, I'm going to initialize my identities and this is going to be a JSON dictionary. Then I'm going to create a local index variable and its initial value is going to be one. Thereafter, I'm going to build a for loop for i is equal to one. Thereafter, iterate all items of database. I'm going to access the current iteration source k. Local source k is going to be i index value of my database. And I'm going to find at the corresponding vector embedding. Local source embedding is going to be redis.call. I'm going to use left range command and send source k as input. And respectively, I'm going to send 0 and minus 1 arguments here. And I'm going to have the source embedding. Please notice that target embedding is coming from as an argument. Now I'm going to find the distance between source embedding and target embedding. And let's store it in distance variable and I'm going to set its initial value here. I'm going to build another for loop for j is equal to 1 and iterate over all dimensions of source embedding. Target embedding is going to come with case uppercase variable and I'm going to access its j index dimension with this usage. Also, I'm going to find the source embeddings j index dimension with this. Thereafter, I'm going to find the subtraction of this dimension values and find its squared value to find the Euclidean distance and append this into the distance. This is going to find the Euclidean distance. After this for loop, find the square root value of the distance because Euclidean distance requires this method squared root. Find the square root value of distance. This is the distance of the target embedding and current source embedding. According to deep phase, if the distance is less than the value of 10 for the face net face recognition module, then they are same person. Otherwise, they are different persons. So we can discard the distance values greater than 10 for this experiment. But if this would not be a facial recognition case, you don't have to perform this block. Here, I'm going to check the distance value is less than the pre threshold value 10. If distance is less than or equal to 10, then I'm going to append this into identities. K is going to be source K and value is going to be distance. I'm going to use to string distance value and do not forget to increase the index value here. And finally, I need to close this for loop and I'm able to return identities. Finally, I need to call json.encode because it's a complex type for Redis. Let's see the results. Let's find the nearest neighbors of the target image. Let's play with the result. I'm going to import JSON module first. Thereafter, results is binary. I need to decode this. Results.decode for utf-8. Now I have a string. Now I'm going to call json.loads. This is going to convert this string to dictionary. Now let's import pandas module as well. Import pandas. Now I'm going to overwrite this to results. Thereafter, I'm going to create a pandas data frame. Pandas.data frame and pass results case. And I'm going to set this to data frame. Let's see the content of data frame. It has the image path. By the way, I can mention the column name as image path. Thereafter, I'm going to add a nib column for distance. And this is going to be results.values. I have the data frame consisting of image path and distance value. I'm able to sort this as sort values by distance. As you can see, image 5.jpg is the nearest one. Remember the items in our facial database. Image 5.jpg is this portrait of Angelina Julie. 
Thereafter, image 7.jpg is another portrait. Then, image 10.jpg, this is Angelina Julie. Image 6.jpg, image 2.jpg, image 4.jpg, image 1.jpg, and finally, image 11.jpg. They are all the portraits of Angelina Julie, and this is the target image. So, we are able to perform vector similarity search and run K nearest neighbors algorithm in Redis K value store, and we just write the Lua script to perform this operation. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time.